In this video, I'm going to finish example two. We did go over the first, the part A, um, where we looked at this piece of graph, um, but we didn't get to finish the second part. So let me go over this one with you now. Um, the graph, the entire graph of the function h is shown in the picture below. Write the domain and range of h using interval notation. So let's take a look at this one together. The domain of this piece of graph. So when you are trying to find the domain, uh, the question that you are asking is how far does this graph Oh, not those thick. <laughs> this is graph. Go to the right and go to the left first and right. So that's the question that I'm asking myself whenever I'm reading a graph and trying to figure out the domain of that graph. Uh, because domain is about possible x values. So all the x values, um, well, the, the values that we should use should come straight from the x axis. Okay, so ready? Um, this piece of graph, how far does it go to the left? The farthest, the, 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 how do I say this? Um, the most far, the, the, the most left. <laughs> okay, so if it, it goes as far as negative 3 to the left, as you can see, right? Negative 3. So I'm going to go ahead and say negative 3 first, comma. <coughs> but you notice that we have a closed circle right there. It's a closed circle. So you draw a bracket in front of negative 3, okay? And how far does this graph go to the right? It goes as far as, what's the number? The number on the x-axis is 2. Don't be looking at the number on the y-axis when you are reading the domain. So ignore those numbers. So it goes oh, as far as 2. So I'm going to go ahead and write 2. And since this was an open circle, we're going to need a parenthesis. So negative 3 to 2. But in front of negative 3, I have a bracket because we had a closed circle, filled in circle. But after 2, I have an open circle, uh, um, I have a parenthesis because we had an open circle over there. So that's it for domain. Let's look at the range. If the question that I ask um, when looking at the domain is how far does this graph go to the left and right? Well, for the range, you should be looking at how, how low does it go and how high. Okay? We are looking at the, the numbers on the y-axis this time, okay? So look at this graph, and I always kind of, I think, and this part is always kind of tricky. Um, um, how low does this picture go? And, you know, it's not really this point, right? That is not the lowest point of this graph. The lowest point of the graph is actually over there, right? They just didn't have a point plotted over there, but... Um, what graph, I mean, graph is, it's just infinitely many points put together. So we do have a closed circle here. We do have a closed circle here. Um, unless they have it like in this format, like an open circle down there. Uh, we, we can assume that that is a, we know that is a closed circle at um, negative 1, negative 5. But since we are looking at the range, we should be using the y coordinates. So the lowest point of this graph is negative 5. Write the negative 5, but make sure to draw a square, a square bracket in front of negative 5 because we do have a smooth graph over here, which means that we have an open, so I'm sorry, filled in circle or a closed circle here. All right, what's next? The next question is how high does it go? How low was negative 5? How high does it go? The highest point is right here, and it goes as high as positive 4. So I'll say 4 is the highest point. And because we have an open circle, you see we have an open circle at that point, we're going to need to draw a parenthesis. So uh, make sure you try those three or more problems on your Alex. This is one of the topics that you will have to do for 1.3. Um, I will stop this video and I will come back on, um, and go over other examples on this next.